this is the quick field simulation example. Transient temperature distribution in autotropic metal bar. This is the web page of this example on quickfield.com. Here one can find the detailed information regarding this uh, problem, regarding the slab properties and the boundary conditions. Uh, here we have uh, parameters. And the task is to determine the temperature distribution in the slab after three seconds at, at a, f a few points in the slab. Now let's go to QuickField and let's solve this problem from scratch. First we should create new problem. We type problem name. So the problem type is the transient heat transfer problem, module class, plane parallel, uh, length units, inches, coordinate system Cartesian, and normal precision. Now we should set the uh, timing parameters. We will calculate up to 3 seconds with the step of uh, 0 0.1 second. And now we can finish. The next step is to create the geometry. The geometry is uh, very simple. It's just a rectangular form. So I add three, four vertices. Uh, first vertice has a coordinates of zero and one inches. We can zoom to fit. Here it is the four vertices. And now I will connect them with the straight lines. Okay, the geometry is done. Um, now we will assign the, the labels to the blocks. I choose this block, right click and select properties. This label will be called material. Now I will I will label um, edge uh, edges. First, I label these two edges. We have convection boundary condition, and then these two. with a boundary condition of symmetry. So, now let's uh, type the numbers to, to this block, block label. At first, I type a <coughs> thermal conductivity.
note that I should select an isotopic type of uh, thermal connectivity here. Then I type thermal capacity and the density. Now we'll deal with uh, boundary conditions. On these two edges we have a connection boundary condition, so we have to type a convection coefficient here and the temperature of the ambient air. these two edges we have a zero heat flux boundary condition. And now we should uh, build the mesh. In order to solve threaten heat transfer problem we should have uh, initial conditions. That is the initial temperature distribution within the slab. And to do this we should uh, solve the steady state heat transfer problem. So now we will create new problem based on on the transient heat transfer problem. The crucial condition is that we should create uh, the steady state um, problem with uh, initial temperature distribution in the same folder where we store the transient heat transfer problem. So the problem type is uh, steady state heat transfer, length units, inches, and the geometry should be the same that for the transient heat transfer problem. Now we can finish. So we will just uh, a little bit adjust the properties here. For example, by the way, this properties for the block will be the same. Don't forget about this. As you can see, I changed the, changed the temperature of the ambient air. And here we have a zero flux as well. So, now we can solve this problem to get initial temperature distribution. Now let's go back to the transient heat transfer problem and we can solve it. Now let's go back to the transient heat transfer problem and 
how we should uh, set the links we will make a data link for the temperature field the problem is the heat free meat and I add this ok now let's solve the problem ok, solution is done we can see how the temperature distribution is changing all the time with the animation button now we go back to the quickfield.com and uh, here we have a comparison of uh, quickfield results with the uh, ANSYS software and uh, reference results this results you can see here.